Alright guys, <laughs> so I am using the GoPro because my phone died, so um, I have the other phone but that has some shitty ass quality. So I'm going to be using the GoPro for now. So, as you guys can see, yeah, the wrap is new, like we said, it is brand new. I don't know if it's going to be recording upside down. Nah, you, you probably can see the smoke, but it's smoking quite a bit, but that's normal for the thermal wrap when it first starts to... Yeah. I don't know if the GoPro is picking that up, but overall, she's running great, that's what we like, and oh my god, just look at her. The turbo and everything is chilling right there. This looks amazing. So yeah, first drive she's not bad, but obviously needs a tune because you can't pass 3K. But we can also try it out with the re uh, the reflash computer and see because that one could handle some air. But uh, the mass airflow sensor is obviously probably going to be the the reason why we can't pass over 3K. But we have both computers right now. We're just using a stock ECU from another Corolla XRS that one of our buddies get let us use so um th this is the factory room on the f8 and then we also have the d8 which is the reflash one from r9k so we we're messing around thinking that the computer was the problem but in reality it was not so we we're just trying to figure out what were some factors and what were some issues that could have gone bad one that came in mind was the computer but thank god it was not the computer it was just the mass airflow sensor that I gave out um, out of nowhere so that pretty much caused us to start changing everything spark plugs fuel injectors coils computer we put silicone all over uh, all over the intake manifold thinking there was a uh, in, a leak but <clears throat> and then another thing happened was that the line right here popped so we don't know if it touched the starter or not it had a big hole on the side so oil started spilling out all over the place but we fixed all that brand new stuff and thank god it was not nothing major it was just the mass airflow sensor so we unplugged it, or my dad decided to unplug it, and she decided to start idling correctly. So, yep, we got another one from a uh, Toyota Yaris that's coming in on Monday now. Um, hopefully today, yeah, the mail, uh, the, hopefully it's here today. So that way we could actually like put it on and pass it, you know, even more. But, you know, you started up um, yesterday, there was a little problem where there's probably not enough lubrication on the bearings of the turbo. So she would stop spinning while the car was on but now she stays spinning and running so that's really cool but yeah obviously we do need a tune and we can't wait to tune this girl and take her straight to the dyno a lot of people are already asking dyno tune street pass everything like that but we can't because she is not tuned so but yeah um obviously we're really happy we like i said we we stressed out a lot we were stressing we were we couldn't even figure out what the hell was going on but she runs now and that's all we care about is that so now we need a tune we're gonna find the guy pretty much we're gonna look for the same guy that tuned up the last xrs and let's see if he's willing to tune this one so if he is then that's great so that's what we're, exactly what we're gonna do then so we're gonna go drive home back yeah he almost he almost hit the door on thing huh look at him he got scared trying to mess up my car so uh, what's called it so we're gonna go ahead and yeah we're gonna look for the guy and see if he will, is willing to tune this one but let's, let's go ahead take the car back home and have it's another inside but yeah it does look really nice you can't beat that but yeah so see you guys on the next one peace